Hey, it's Keith Townsend from the CTO Advisor. 44 zettabytes. What does that have to do with your data center strategy going into 2020? Well, let's take a look back at 2019 sponsored by Intel. One of the big predictions earlier in the decade was that by 2020, the year we're in now, there will be 44 zettabytes, 44 trillion bytes of data throughout the world, stored on disk somewhere. It's impossible to process that much data. So IT teams have already been asked to do the impossible. And 2019 was a step forward in kind of solving that problem. What did I see as some of the major trends? The biggest ma trend of last year, I would say is the acknowledgement that hybrid IT is the future. You know here on the CTO Advisor, we're kind of betting our practice on the simple fact that private data center and public cloud will coexist. Well, we're seeing workloads being repatriated back to the private data center because of this cost factor, which we'll get into, and two, this data gravity challenge that enterprises are trying to solve. You can't simply move 44 zettabytes of data around from your on-premises systems, be it IoT, OM systems, data center, big data, ERP, into the public cloud where data is steady growing itself. You need to process that data in place. Dave McCory has said that data has gravity, and I agree with that. Data has gravity, but we've moved slowly to being able to move that compute, especially these complex pieces of compute where we need to manage this data. What do I mean by the industry has accepted hybridity? Well, take no further look than all the cloud providers. They've acknowledged that there needs to be a on-premises version of their cloud, whether it's GCP, AWS, Azure, everyone has a on-prem version. We're starting to see traditional data center players like VMware have a multi-cloud strategy to complement their on-premises solution. But where's Intel playing in this role? I think the biggest area, outside of processors, obviously, is the ability to process data or get data to the processor. SAP, I think, has led the way when it comes to in-memory databases and promoting in the power of in-memory databases in the enterprise. However, stuffing a modern server with 1.5 terabytes of RAM or three terabytes of RAM, you have a dual proc system, is cost prohibitive. This is where the persistent memory that Intel has released in 2019, which has been promised, I think most of the decade comes into play. This persistent memory allows kind of the best of both worlds, frankly. You get the lower cost of NAND flash memory with the lower latencies of, that's closer to DRAM and the higher capacities so that systems like SAP and all the way down to SQL standard can take advantage of this innovation. I can have a three terabyte single HANA system that scales out to multiple terabytes for analytics. I think the capabilities of what we can do with in-memory databases are just starting to hit kind of that 44 zettabyte challenge. The other piece, processors. Intel has gotten some competition in processors, whether it's ARM or the other x86 providers, the data center has become a lot more competitive. And what I've seen Intel do in response to that competition is lean on what they do best, which is scale. At an AWS summit in New York, AWS and Intel co-presented on the value of this long-term relationship. You can go from an M4 to an M5 workload and speed up performance by 25% and multi-fold for some of these analytic workloads. 
AWS always talks about how things break at scale and how important it is to engineer for the scale of an AWS provider. Across all the cloud providers, Intel has developed the chops to scale their systems. Now you bring that back into the data center. What does that mean for the actual data center? Why should I stick with Intel when competitors like ARM and other x86 solutions have some pretty interesting speeds and fees? This isn't just a conversation about speeds and fees. This is again a conversation about scale. How do you scale your operations across private cloud and public cloud? And I look forward, we'll talk about telemetry data, the ability to get information off of the systems and systems across multiple environments and what that means to the data center. But from a simple perspective, Intel has continued to forge their relationships with the major providers, HP, Lenovo, Dale, all have deepened their relationships and adopted not just the persistent layer of memory, the Xeon scalable processors, but also the network components that walk, that work, work together to improve overall system performance at scale. We'll talk about the potential of these systems working together in the look forward. I'd love to hear your feedback. Do you think Intel is on the right track when it comes to meeting the needs of your data center when that data center stretches beyond just your four walls and into the public cloud? What can they do better? Share it with me online. I can be found on the web. The CTOadvisor.com is the website. At CTO Advisors, the Twitter handle. Talk to you next CTO Dose.